This DJ Academics and now Chief Sosa. Now, he was recently dropped by Interscope, left for dead. People thought that listen is over. But now he vowed to continue his career and do it independently. Now, he promised to drop an album called Nobody and he planned to drop it on December 2nd. And of course, like most things with Chief Keef, didn't fucking happen. Now, finally, it looks like something's coming to light and I think he got a new manager and it now seems like there's movement on the album because now it's popped up on iTunes for a pre-order. Now, the release date is set for December 16th, which is already December 16th, so it's actually coming out today and even further proof that it's coming out is that the album full stream has already leaked. So if you want to hear the full album, I think there's a link in the description, go check that shit out, go review it. If you want to buy it, go purchase it on iTunes. But now a lot of people who are Chief Key fans, they always complain like, hey, he's not on time with his projects, he doesn't deliver when he promises, and when you're a creator and you tell people I'm going to give you some shit at a certain time, people want it. Now, the album is actually 12 songs. Now, one of the standout tracks, or one of the tracks that people focus on most, is Nobody, because it features Kanye West. Now, I listened to it, I'm not going to lie, it's dreadful, fucking awful. I'm listening to it, I'm like, whoa, this is fucking atrocious. Now, Chief Keef and, and Kanye West has never made a great combination to me, other than when pretty much uh, Kanye jumped on Don't Like. But anything, the, the track on Yeez is fucking garbage. However, there's a lot of tracks on here, uh, 12 tracks to be exact, as I said. It's a lot of autotune, man. Chief Key, for the life of me, I can't understand why he loves his fucking autotune. I get it. Lil Durk loves autotune. That was his thing. But Chief Key, the songs I fell in love with, he didn't have that much autotune. But now, he's just kind of bellowing. He's like, he's mumbling in harmony. It, that's what he's doing. He's mumbling in harmony on a fucking record. Now, as I said, some people are also saying a couple other tracks are cool. Fast and Furious. Some are like, yo, and this is the problem with Chief Keith. His hottest songs, they're always unfinished. They always have only fucking one verse. They're always like barely two minutes. And you're like, what the fuck? Now, the longest tracks is the ones that you're like, oh my God, skip. So yeah, it looks like he's at least making some progress. He's putting some music out. That's good. He, for him to start touring back again, he got to get some songs out of heat. He got to follow what the Migos did. They got the blueprint. Rich nigga timeline. Right? Right? Young, rich nigga? Those shit is heat. No label two? To me, no label two is a mixtape of the year. Mixtape of the year. Or you could call it album of the year because they're not signed. That's what they're putting out. That's pretty much their album. So Chief Keef got to get on that, that same flow and he got to keep working it. Now, you guys go check it out. If you like it, go check it out. Remember, he says he's doing a little bit more business moves. He's trying to come out with a glow gang coloring books, right? You don't want to color in between the lines of your favorite uh, uh, OG purple kush, right? Don't you want to uh, color in a coon pack or something like that? But yeah, you guys go check it out. Let me know if you think it's hot. Do you think it's whack? Do you think Chief Keef is just fucking finished and he needs to give it up? So you guys let me know. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. I'm out.